Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Psalm 137, verse 8 and 9. And it reads, O daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy the one who repays you as you have served us, happy the one who takes and dashes your little ones against the rock. Oh, I repeat, O daughter of Babylon, who, ha- who are to be destroyed, happy the one who repays you as you have served us, happy the one who takes and dashes your little ones against a rock. Now, I want to divide the scripture into two parts. But before I go ahead, I'd like to say this is also a continuation of Psalm 137 from the preceding verses, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and um, which spoke about the captivity of the Babylonians and spoke about how they had um, gone into um, a very sad mood and sad situation, complete melancholy because they were in captivity and they had hung their willows, their, their harps on willow trees and um, the captors were making a mirth of them and trying to make a mockery of them to continue to sing about their their um, songs they sang to the Lord, but they forbade to sing the songs in a foreign land because it was an abomination to them. And here they said they will continually remember Jerusalem because Jerusalem was their home. Jerusalem was their abode. Jerusalem was where they were happy. They wanted to go back home to Jerusalem because Jerusalem was their all in all. So they were cursing and they were cursing the son, the daughters of Babylon and daughters of Babylon includes everybody. He said, all daughters of Babylon who are to be destroyed, that they were prophesying destruction. And because they are reminded God of the sons of Edom who had prophesied, who had prophesied that the foundation of Jerusalem will be raised. Then he said, oh, daughter of Babylon who are to be destroyed. Happy the one who repays you as you have served us. So this was a curse. This was a pro- proclamation. This was a prophecy that the daughters of Babylon will be destroyed. And happy the one, that is God, who repays you as you have served us. So God and every other person that was to take vengeance on them. So here they were cursing. And they said, happy the one who takes and dashes your little ones against the rock. That's happy the one who takes and dashes your children and your generations against the rock. In, ter- in, in, in the bid to destroy them, in the bid to annihilate them, in the bid to make their land desolate as they had made the land of Jerusalem desolate. So here the Israelites were cursing them. Here the Israelites were angry. Here the Israelites had presented their case before God. Here the Israelites wanted vengeance from God. They wanted vengeance from God and they wanted vengeance from man. Now, I want to pray that God is able to expound our minds on this word, that God is able to give us more revelational knowledge, that we will be able to walk with it and run with it, that God is able to help us to turn around every situation we find ourselves into good, that all our curses will be converted to blessings. Every curse in our life will be converted to blessings. It will be converted to blessings. It will be converted to blessings. Every curse in our life will be converted to blessings because Christ had paid the price. All this I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. I thank you so much for listening and God bless. God bless in Jesus name. Amen. Amen.